it's Mo from Sparkly Belly and welcome back to the Business of Belly Dance Part 2. In my last video, I shared my tips on creating videos for dancers and focused on the technical aspect of video making like camera, lighting, and your on-camera personality. And in this video, I want to share with you how to share and protect your work and choreography online. But a quick disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer and what I'm about to share with you is based on my experience and lessons learned from sharing hundreds of videos online, whether it's on a platform like YouTube or as part of my online courses. So many dancers are worried about sharing their performance videos online. They're worried because someone might steal their choreography and perform it elsewhere without asking for their permission or even giving them any credit. It's definitely a legitimate concern. So how can you protect your choreography online? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is you cannot protect your choreography from being copied 100% once it's online. But the good news is there are a few things you can do very easily to discourage people from copying your work or using your work as their own. For example, in your video, you can remind people to give you credit if you don't mind people copying or sharing the information from your video but want credit. Some people share stuff online without knowing that they have to credit the source or they just forget to. So it's good to give them a reminder. You can also add a small logo or watermark on your video or a URL to your website so people know right away that this video belongs to you. But to be honest, I don't do any of these to my free videos or even course videos. Why? Because really, not many people steal others' work. I've been making online content for about four years and there have been a few instances where people told me that someone had used my image without giving me credit. And I've been very fortunate because some of these people actually went back to those people who shared my images and told them that it's not the right thing to do. I'm very grateful that these people support my work this way and protect my work on my behalf. And it's true, no one should steal my work. But when I hear that my work is being used somewhere without me knowing, instead of getting frustrated, I'm starting to feel that it's a confirmation that people love my stuff. I can trust my work and keep going. And it really doesn't happen often, maybe two or three times in the last four years. For the scale of work that I do, which is not big, but I do get tens of thousands of people visiting my site each month. Anyway, my point is your concern is legitimate. When you give 100% to your performance and if somebody steals it, it hurts. But don't think that you can't create anything better. You have to believe that you can keep creating performance that are just as good or even better. That's what I think it means to be an artist or a dancer who keeps on learning and growing. Maybe by the time somebody steals your choreography, you're way ahead of the game and you might not even care that somebody copied your work. You may even feel proud that your performance was watched and appreciated by many people and you inspired somebody enough to want to copy your work. We've all learned and got inspired by dancers who came before us. And we learned by copying our teachers. Stealing somebody's choreography is definitely not a good practice. And as long as you share your work online, it's impossible to protect it 100%. But there are so many benefits to sharing your work online which helps you grow as a dancer or an instructor or a business person. Once you post a video, it'll be there for people to watch for many years to come. People will watch your performance and fall in love with your work. So be sure to include a link or information about where they can find you. And focus on creating useful things for people because you've got so much to share with the world and don't worry about the tiny percentage of people who may cheat because those good people who will enjoy your work, appreciate your work and may want to hire you shouldn't be punished and deprived of your creations for the few bad people. 
I think if you want to be an artist who wants to create a positive impact in people's lives or want to create that excitement and joy in people's hearts, you have to be able to see beyond the few that may steal a small piece of your pie. That's what I think. So I want to encourage you to share your work so people can see and learn more about you and belly dancing. And together, let's bring more energy and inspiration to these lovely belly dance communities around the world. I hope this video was useful and whether you agree or disagree, share this video with your friends and share your opinions in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you want to learn more about how to share your work online and turn your passion into a business, check out my ebook Belly Dancer in Business from the link in the description. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!